can experience simultaneously. And I've, I, I handle that very well these days, but it was very difficult for a long time. Tell me, Christine, what is the mission of the Pleiadians here on Earth or on the Earth plane at this time? You know, their mission is to be here and hold an energetic space for the planet to transform from a third dimensional experience of a struggle and fear and lack to a fourth, fifth dimensional experience, which is remembering our our spiritual natures and beginning to open to that, to become consciously aware of our of the spiritual realms and working with them in our day to day living and to move into a place of back to a place of power and remembrance. And so their role is to hold that energetic space for the planet, but also for us as individuals. And their main message is conscious, coming into a conscious alignment of living. And through the self-healing prophecies, and that's right through the book, it's anchored through, is the um, energy, a special grace period for us as human beings to more easily remember who we are and move back into alignment with our spiritual natures. And their message to us is to turn back towards ourselves as human beings and hold ourselves with a real love and compassion. And so they want us to remind us that we are, have come here and, and it's, a, it's a privilege to be on this planet as human beings at this time and to remind us of our journeys and our missions um, and to come back into a oneness with each other and to evolve and open to the spiritual realms as we open to ourselves and remember we're not alone. And they are here to support us individually if we will call them in. Um, that is their commitment right now. Where do they come from? Who are they? The Pleiadians? Yes. They come from a star cluster called, a uh, star system called the Pleiades. Um, and so they're within the universe. They're from that system. Their planet is evolved into a fifth dimensional reality, which is total unconditional love. Mm-hmm. So they have mastered that. And part of their mission is to be here to assist us and to learn also about us as human beings and to hold this loving unconditional space and really to bring in that loving element to assist us to turn back into an unconditional love for ourselves. Are they our creators? Did they plant us here? Oh, absolutely not. No. Um, they they had no no part in that. They are definitely part of the oneness or the god essence of our mm-hmm. of our um, whole unique system here of all of us being a unique aspect of the divine of the divine and of the oneness. But they're just a part of that, mm-hmm. and because they've evolved to a fifth dimensional reality, they are able to come in and be part of. Um, a team of, of, uh, with the spiritual forces and other energetic beings to assist us and hold an energetic space while we birth here, while the earth births to a different energetic state, while we birth to an energetic state. Why are they doing this? What is their ulterior motive? Well, the only motive is is that we they want us to come into a realized state of oneness also so we can be part of that whole we're missing right now each one of us is uniquely uniquely a gift for the universe Mm -hmm. in our in our in our essence and so their their payoff is to have us join the oneness the the oneness of the universal consciousness that's their payoff there's um nothing they're not ego orientated their um, universal consciousness orientated in the union of love. So, you know, they, that is their payoff. Why don't they just manifest themselves instead of giving channeled messages if they are that advanced? I'm sure that they would have the capability of crossing the vastness of space to make their presence known to all of mankind. Why don't they do that? And why do they select certain wait, wait a second, why do it, they why do they select certain people to channel? The reason they manifest themselves to a lot of my students around the world who are open and ready to receive them. But as a human race, we are certainly not ready. Um, you know, the third dimension here 
um, there's so much fear and struggle here. And if they were to um, come to the masses, there would be hysteria, hysteria, group hysteria. We are not ready as a human race to receive them. But with the changing times coming into 2012 as we evolve and start opening up our consciousness, then they will be very willing to, they will be our neighbors, they will be um, our friends. And same as the spiritual realms, they can't just appear to everybody because um, no, the, the, the masses would not be able to really take in and be able to um, receive them in the way that but, they need to be received. But how do we know that's the truth if it's never been tried? You know, there's a lot of talk about how the masses would not be able to handle the appearance of extraterrestrials or those from the other side of the universe, and yet, to my knowledge, they've never even tried. So how do we know? Well, you, you see, they come from a very different energetic where they can read the human energy, I'm afraid, and read the consciousness of man. And they, um, their, their assessment of it is that we are not ready. Individuals are certainly ready. And that's Could it be what this that book we are is not, about. Is it possible that not only are we not ready, but we are not conditioned? And could this be a conditioning plot that they're, that they're manifesting? I don't believe so because I feel the essence of the love that is present with their intention here. And part of my energy is to be that bridge because being um, having this Pleiadian aspect, I feel the intention of their love and the connection and their willingness actually to meet us individually and connect individually. And that's what the book's all about. The timing of this book now is for people to start opening up and having direct experiences with the Pleiadians in an energetic way and developing a personal relationship with the Pleiadians. Like many of my students around the world, they have personal connections and they, the Pleiadians come to them on a personal level. So they're very willing to meet on a personal level with those that are ready and that can receive them in the way that they're meant to be received. All right, stand by, Christine. You and I have to take a commercial break. We'll be back shortly. Christine Day is our guest. We're talking about her book, Pleiadian Initiations of Light. The website is www.frequenciesofbrilliance.com. That's www.frequenciesofbrilliance.com. Christine Day and I will be back on the other side of this commercial break as we continue talking about the Pleiadians right here in the Exxon on the all-new Exxon Broadcast Network and the Talk Star Radio Network. Don't go away. We'll be back right after the news. considering calling a psychic to read your situation? Then consider David Champion, a psychic medium for more than 20 years with thousands of readings under his belt. David Champion will make you feel comfortable. He has proven to be honest and accurate. He's a straight shooter. There's no guesswork. What he sees is what you get. While he is a medium, most of the calls focus on relationships, not only love, but work, school, neighbors, and more. Need help with finding a job and preparing for the interview? Are you dealing with people who are obstacles in your path? For more information, go to davidchampion.com, $1.50 per minute, paid by credit card, with a minimum of 30 minutes. For your reading with David Champion, call 1-877-702-8598. That's 1-877-702-8598. Now you can dial in to listen to the Exxon Radio Show from anywhere in the world with Rob McConnell 24-7, 365 by dialing 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080. If you have a mobile phone or landline, the Exxon Radio Show with Rob McConnell is now at your beck and call at 213-401-0080. That's 213-401-0080, 24-7. 
Hi, this is Eric Rawls of Cosmoverse.com, and you're listening to Rob McConnell in the X-Zone. Hi, this is Blade Runner, and you are listening to Canada's number one paranormal radio show, The X-Zone, with Rob McConnell. Hi, I'm Laura Sabrin of Cease to Fields Organic Vineyards in Jordan, and you're listening to Canada's number one paranormal radio show, The X-Zone, with Rob McConnell. Hi, my name is Lady Ashley, the White Witch of Niagara-on-the-Lake, and you're listening to Canada's number one paranormal talk radio show, The X-Zone, with Rob McConnell. Welcome to The X-Zone, a place where fact is fiction and fiction is reality. Now, here's your host, Rob McConnell. It is now the time for you to open up into the letting go energy. In this track, we're going to start transmitting this letting go energy to you so that you can allow this letting go energy to move through the cells of your body so the cells can begin letting go of the stress and this letting go energy can ripple out into your life. So I want you to take a breath now. I want you to open up to an intention for yourself of letting go, of allowing this energy to move through your life, through the cells of your body, akashata. Eke om de ine a, eshe om de ine i. I want to remind you how important it is for you to allow yourself to open up to the energy of the language. Because this energy allows you to transform and it allows the letting go energy to sweep and flow more completely through the cells of your body and into your life. That's right, taking a breath. Taking a breath and allowing yourself to be, to feel yourself in this moment. To claim your place here now, in this life. Eko shata, eke om de ine a, eshe om de isha. Just taking a breath through the cells of your body and allowing yourself to begin. Christine Day is our special guest, Exxon Nation. She is the author of Pleiadian Initiations of Light. Uh, Christine, why is this healing energy being anchored now on this planet instead of any other time in history? Because it's really the time we're, we're moving. Um, closer and closer to 2012 and we as a human race are mm-hmm. ready that's the exciting thing um, the Pleiadians have um, been waiting for this to anchor this self-healing prophecy energy and and what it's actually designed to do is to lift the veils for us as human beings and allow ourselves to, to more easily align with and a light, the light aspect of ourselves and allow ourselves to, to become awake, to remember mm-hmm. who we mm-hmm. are in our unlimited forms. And so it not only does that, it, the Pleiadians are saying and encouraging us to turn back towards our humanness and to hold ourselves with this love and compassion that we, we as human beings have really um, taken a lot of self-condemnation on for the mistakes that we have made in our lives and the Pleiadians are saying you know these mistakes you come here to learn through your mistakes and you were never meant to condemn yourselves it's like we've placed ourselves up on the cross and we have to take ourselves down and resurrect ourselves back to remembering who we are and so the energies of the self-healing prophecy are to assist us in that resurrection process. And, there, and it's also to awaken us to the spiritual realms, the, the spiritual energies, the angels, the light beings that are here for us now, mm-hmm. so that we can start utilizing them in our day-to-day lives. They're here to help us. So we start to reconnect back to our connection to spirit and know that we have a conscious connection with them on a, on a daily basis so they can come in and support us in our lives in every aspect of our lives so that's where it is it's the timing that is so important now it's just simply the time and we have all contracted to be here at this time to receive this self-healing prophecy energy that's anchoring on the planet and it's really truly beautiful it's healing 
and it brings mm-hmm. us back 